Good afternoon, everybody. We Paddy from across the shock. <coughs> Excuse me, I just clear my throat. Um, you're very welcome to the channel, and uh, I am extremely happy to bring you a British knife, handmade here in the UK by a great up and coming new custom maker who also works in the trade for a very famous knife company over here in the UK, which is A Right knives now i know a lot of you have heard of arthur wright knives um arthur wright started in 1947 uh, made a really good pocket knife these were working men's pocket knives in working men's materials and they started off really well but like a lot of these are sheffield knife company like some of the sheffield knife companies they went into making quantity and a lot of the time the quality gradually disappears but I am so happy, and I can't stress this enough, I am so happy to say that um, Arthur Wright has been taken over now by a father and son, um, which is Michael as the father, Ashley the son, Harrison. And they took it over about two years ago. Now the son trained under the, the last owner and learned his skill in knife making, along with some other people. He has picked up his trade just uh, the future is rosy. Let's just say that for British knife makers. He's a custom maker now in his own right and now he sells. He does his custom knives as a private entity away from Arthur Wright. He's the works manager at Arthur Wright. Now there's only four people work there. He is training up an apprentice there as well. So the the, the future is looking really rosy uh, for Arthur Wright knives because the father and son are not just a make as many as we can and sell them. They want the quality to come up and it certainly is. They want to further the company, both of them. And actually in his uh, custom side, which is separate from the main business, but we'll get into that in more detail when I'm doing the main review. I ordered this, Slick Slicers put me in onto Ashley. And, uh, he arranged the knife to be made for me. It's a custom knife uh, by Ashley. Before I had done any sort of deals with Ashley, and I haven't done any deals as such, but what I have done is I've asked Ashley to make me a custom. He made me a custom. I went for a cheaper custom than because I just wanted to see what that quality was with his uh, basic customs. And you're going to see very shortly what that means. Uh, Basic is not a word you will use for this knife. Um, and it's these knives, I'm going to give a rough price because I have not researched it properly yet. Ashley's knives, let's just say Arthur Wright knives started around 30 ish pounds and they're working knives. Um, their finish is definitely creeping up into the very good, much better than it ever was. But bear in mind, these the, the cheaper models are a working knife. So you can't expect custom finish on a working knife. Now, this these knives, his basic custom knives, are under a hundred pound. That's not bad for a fully handmade knife uh, by a custom maker. Now, Ashley has ten years' experience, and he's putting that all to great use at the minute, as far as I can see. I know I'm going to be ordering more of them. Now, the sad point that of uh, Ashley knives at the minute. Is that his books are full? Now, I've been speaking to him today. He reckons within about three weeks, four weeks, maybe, his books will be open again. I will let you know as soon as that happens because I'm going to try and get on the list for another knife myself. So there, there you go. If that's anything to go by, you've got me doing this. I'm buying a second knife of him. Let's get to the knife, shall we, before I start waffling. This is it. Look at that lovely nail neck. That's a, a more modern nail neck than you normally get on a, an Arthur Wright basic knife. It will just be a nail neck. But this, you can actually get your fingers and pull this open. The pull to there is about a seven, seven and a half. From here to here, about a seven. So you got a really strong pull to start with. Look at that beautiful beautiful whatever you want to call it it's a bit of a drop spear to me but it is stunning the grind on this knife is beautiful i'm going to bring this up and let you see 
how even that grain is, how, how well it's centered. It is beautiful. The fit and finish is impeccable. There is no feeling. And I don't mean you can feel a wee bit. There's nothing. There's no feeling. These pins are completely smooth. What I do love is Ashley's. This is only on his knives and not the Arthur Wright knives. It's Arthur Wright and Son, but done. It's like a candelabra with the A, the W of the candelabra is the Wright. And so it's Arthur Wright and Sons. So I just think that is beautiful. The other side is sterile completely. Um, but look at that lovely satin finish on a blade. And look, this is a knife that's under £100. It's in rosewood. Let me tell you, that is beautiful rosewood. Look at the different colours of brown to black on that. And all the striations are going in the perfect, you know, they match up lovely. It is a, look, rosewood is a, a, a basic wood for knife making. But when it's done to this standard, it is so well sanded, hafted. And I've just showed you the biggest surprise of all. Look at that. That is hand done. Look at the termination here. Look at that connection between the break in the knife. And I'll break it. Look at that. Is that not just perfection? There is no gaps. There is nothing. I can't fault this. There's a good, strong tip on the end of this. Let me just get this to show you. It's not a weak tip. This is a working knife. It is just so beautifully hafted. And that is taken round onto the, I beautifully terminated at this back end here. Everything about this is class. Absolute class. There's no blade wrap. And the reason I'm saying that, because I don't normally say it, because I don't say it unless it's there. This is a cam tang, so it doesn't just slap bang shut. You can move it up without worrying about your hands. It doesn't snap until... <laughs> Listen to that. Is that not just beautiful? And there is no blade wrap on that knife whatsoever. I'm just going to run my nail. Absolutely nothing. Now, I've only just got this today. I've been waiting and waiting for it to come. Um, because his books were full, I, I you know, had a fair wait. But let me tell you, it's worth everything. Now, is this a high-end knife? Do you want to know something? To me, this is a high-end knife. The fit, finish, and the standard of his workmanship makes this, I'm going to say, I'm not sure of the right word for it, but a lower model, if you like, a cheaper model of his customs, which is bogs. It really is cheap for what I am getting. I am over the moon. This is 01 tool steel on this. That there is just absolutely. Is this going to sit in my drawer and do nothing? Absolutely not. This is going to get used. I'm going to carry this for this full week ahead. I'm going to use it to cut steak. Now I'll show you what the patina is like. This is going to be a working knife. I don't want this to sit in the drawer. It's not expensive enough to sit in the drawer, if that makes any sense. To buy something that under £100 with this quality and not use it is an absolute Waste of my time as a knife lover, and I know I'm a knife collector, and I know I have higher end knives, but this is just something I am so looking for. If I can't convey in my voice how much I appreciate the workmanship that has gone into this, what is a pretty base, a one tool steel, rosewood scales, you know, nickel silver bolsters and pins. I think the pins are nickel silver, or are they brass? No, they could be brass. But... I will do a full review on this and I'll give you a little bit more of the story and I'll give you some pictures of the workshop that he works in, uh, the Arthur Wright workshop. He has sent me a stack of pictures. I have to find out how to put that on video, but I will do that before the review, which will probably be in a couple of weeks. I just want to use it so that when I come back and tell you what the heat treat's like in the blade, how it cuts, I'm going to do cut tests and I'm going to do extensive cut tests on it because... If this is where Arthur Wright is on the way, my goodness, it's going to be so nice to, ha so nice to have a British company with this standard. Does it come sharp out of the box? Do you know, I have not cut a thing with it. Let me just see. Yes, it does. Oh, good. Imagine that, a sharp knife. Yes, 
It's a sharp knife. It is beautiful. It's stunning, honestly. Um, now, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to give you an early Arthur Wright knife. And this is one of my, um, well, it's not really antique. I think this is 50s or 60s. I'm not sure. And I'm hoping Ashley will maybe confirm it for me. This is just a, a plastic handle. But it's a really well made. Let me just show you. The fit and finish on this for, you know, whatever it is, 60 year old is still absolutely stunning. The pull is a bit lighter than that, but it is perfect. Beautiful blade on it, the lamb's foot blade, which is a popular British uh, blade that actually does quite a lot of uh, the traditional blades. But this is a beautiful work knife, and for its age, it's amazing. And I'll just show you, this is the, well, let me just open this. I want to show you the, the time stamp that's still used today there we go arthur wright and son limited sheffield england i think it says at the bottom can't see it i haven't got my glasses let me just uh can't see it but again there's the nail nick that you would normally get on an arthur wright but listen to that after all them years that is still i love and use this knife love and use it but there we go. So that's an older model of an Arthur Wright knife with a very famous blade shape that is really liked by knife makers here in the UK. And what I'm going to do is put it up against one of my favourite brands. I just hope it stays there. I've invested a lot. But here we go. Here's a number 78 American Jack. Exactly the same size. The blades are incredible. Look at that there. They're just incredibly close. The nice thing I like about the uh, Ashley Harrison one is this is a bigger choil, so you're getting more security for the knife not closing on you. Not that they do, but just an awful lot of people, I'm very aware that other people are scared of, of non-locking knives. Please don't be. These are both excellent models of knives. Just exactly the same size, uh, bit of a squared off rather than rounded, but this would be my favourite work knife of GEC. This, I know already, is going to be my favourite work knife of Ashley's. It is just stunning. The fit and finish on this is no better than Ashley's. And because if everything is meeting up and everything is perfect, you can't say it's better. The materials on this with a rosewood going against the bone. That's about the only downside. Um, the steels, look, they're, they're carbon steels. They're brilliant as far as I'm concerned. Great cutters. This is a user. This will look like this in a week or very close to it, but just stunning. I think you'll agree that's, you know, that's a great comparison. Great comparison. I hadn't done that before now. So there you go. There's the older Ashley Wright, the new, or Ashley Wright, Arthur Wright, the new Arthur Wright made by Ashley, his custom shop, but under £100 for this sort of a model. I just don't know how you get that. I do not know how you get that, but I'm very pleased it is because I will be collecting a lot of different makes from Ashley based on this. I've actually ordered a new Arthur right now Ashley doesn't even know this I, I ordered it the other week because I wanted to compare I wanted to compare a basic working knife and that's all I've ordered a basic working knife I think it cost me £36 it's in bone but I wanted to put it up against the modern right up to date Arthur Wright knife so that's to come as well but I'm just bouncing absolutely bouncing this is beyond top notch beyond i'm over the moon actually thank you very much for making this for me thank you to slick slicers please go and visit slick's channel he's very very busy at the minute i know he's not making a lot of videos but he has a backlog of videos that you could watch for weeks and a lot on traditional knives very much on the british traditional knives as well so there you go what else do i want to tell you did i told you there was about four people yeah there's four people working there um but Ashley does these. This is his own time and his own hobby. So he doesn't make a huge quantity. Beware of that. You might have to wait for it. Is the wait worth it? 
100% without any doubts in my head the way it's worth it. I will let you know as soon. Now you can go on Instagram, uh, Ashley Harrison Knives. I'll put the Instagram, his Instagram down below. Um, the name of the Instagram, I'll put Arthur Wright down below. And like me, if you want to find out about Arthur Wright and say you're from the States, um, and they'll deliver anywhere in the world. If you're, if you're from the States or Europe or whatever, and you're not too sure on Arthur Wright's, even if you're in the UK, just go on to um, Google and type in Arthur Wright Knives. And there's plenty there for you to look at. You'll see the makes, you'll see the, the different styles of knives they make. There's plenty of information there. And you'll even see pictures of the workshop. I will have them for the main video when I do it. But just for now, go on and investigate. That's the joy of this hobby. Go and investigate. Chase up Arthur Wright Knives. Have a look. Go and see Ashley's Instagram channel. You will see some beautiful knives that he makes. <laughs> I'm overexcited, aren't I? Sorry, I'm gone. Look, thank you very much for watching. This is exciting for me. Really. I'm gone. Cup of tea time. This one's gone, Kyle. All the very best. Take care. Paddy's away now. Bye.